You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I am the person appointed to stop all unauthorized access to the Circle Tower. Meaning you, because you're unauthorized. No, I have one job and one job only. And by the Maker's shiny gold cutlery, I will do it. Oh, and he's told you that, has he? Well, you're still not getting into this tower. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Don't question royalty. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Hmm. I don't know. I am feeling a little peckish, though. Parshera, here. Munch on these if you like. Oh, cookies! I am content to part with them if it saves us from this fool. There was a child, a fat, slovenly thing, in the last village we passed. I relieved him of these confections. He didn't need more. For his own good. Mmm! Yummy! You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, yes? We can go across now, if you really want. Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now we wait and pray. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. 
I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. I wonder what's going on up there. Maker, have mercy on I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful too. This is too cruel. I will not subject even an animal to such a terrible out. fate. Sweet and attentive. I am led to understand that the Canari have their own mages as well. Is this so? You would not understand. Not understand? Is it mental capacity that you believe I lack? Or are you worried I will sympathize with my so-called brethren? Take your pick. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me angry? It means I find myself wishing that your people held proper civilized attitudes towards magic. Hmm. That is a rather hostile thing to say. And yet you continue speaking. Astonishing. Come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I will accept that for now. But what are you doing here then? And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. 
Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra and Kinnan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. I could be here had my mother not shielded me from the Templars, so I am to show sympathy. My mother often said that things are the way they are because they could not have been any other way. I always questioned this. Do what you wish. I care not. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing. Though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Indeed. Indeed. Look after her, will you? I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming and a demon came around the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was gone. As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died for me. Just look after her, all right? She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. I heard the Templars talking about chasing down a Malefica yesterday. I'm hungry! 
It is good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tarn a traitor. Wynne was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. I don't suppose this is what you expected the Circle to be like, is it? I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. No, don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. The swords are like the... the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. It is... It's over. Yes? Is there something you wish to discuss? If not, we should hurry. Time is of the essence. Aldred. It's uncharitable of me to speak this way, but I never liked him. He was a squirrely, twitchy sort of person. He never mentored the apprentices, never taught. He didn't seem to care much for the Circle, only his own advancement. I'm sure Aldred has some redeeming qualities. He probably has a perfectly good reason for not displaying them. Oh, a long story. It all started when I returned from Ostagar. I was at that ill-fated battle, and I survived, barely. I was in no state to travel, so I stayed at Ostagar to recuperate and help the wounded. Aldred, on the other hand, left for the tower almost immediately. When I finally returned here, I found that Aldred had all but convinced the Circle to join Loghain. The man who nearly destroyed us all. I cannot fault the Circle, though. Aldred had a persuasive argument. And how could they have known what happened in Ostagar? The alliance with Loghain would have been to the Circle's advantage. According to Aldred, once Loghain was in power, he would order the Chantry to give us more freedom. Well, I told the First Enchanter Irving what Loghain did on the battlefield. I revealed him for the traitorous bastard he is. Irving said he would take care of it. He called a meeting to confront Aldred. But something must have gone wrong. I emerged from my quarters when I heard the screams. They were coming from the meeting room, and it wasn't long before I saw the first abomination running down a mage. It deteriorated quickly then. I found Petra first, and we were trying to fight our way to the meeting room to help, but we came across Irving. He was fighting a terrifying abomination, and he told me to get as many as I could to safety. I had to obey. That was the last time I saw Irving. A little. If I hadn't said anything, perhaps we would not be here now. But they needed to know the truth about Loghain. What is done is done. Let us see if we can put things right. You have seen the demons, haven't you? We will doubtless see more of those. But I fear the abominations more. They are no longer human, and are driven only by their lust for destruction. I hope you're right. Onward, then.
here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. begun.
rather awkward. What? I'm not supposed to be here. Not right at all. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I am called Owain, and I manage the Circle's magical stockroom. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the Mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable. But the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Win? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. Thank you. 
The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy. The tower was here long before the circle. It was always unlikely that we were the first to bring magic to its halls. Hello? I'm nobody. I'm harmless. Please, leave me alone. But the demons... If you're sure it's safe, I could take a peek outside. Yes. Oh, I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. Oh, not as pleased as I am that you came along when you did. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times.
possible. Task is finished. Like I'm being watched. I am done. As you said, watch out! No quarter shall be given. can have unusual powers. Be wary. Are you Quickly, we must fight! Curiosity unchecked became green for this unfortunate apprentice. Finished.
shall be done. I shall do it. Our skill has won the day. Enemies approaching. It has begun. How dear of you. Thank you so much. A fine gift. You have my thanks. It is over. Thank you. That was an uncomfortable experience. now.
How fare our children at their lessons? You should ask them yourself. What have you learned, my son? Mother has me practicing my friendship. She wraps me on the knuckles with my letters on the Yes, it is important for a young man to be able to write. And what about you, my son? Mother is teaching me to play the cards. And I help with supper. Well, it is delicious. Thank you. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desires and taken away his will. This... this is unholy. No one else would have known his heart. He did not know it himself. We are partners. I give him what no one else can. And through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. What happiness? He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Perhaps we will escape. Perhaps we will not. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door! They're going to murder the children! They will not get past me! More enemies ahead. Very well. More enemies ahead. Set. Coming trap. Very well. Away with you!
task is finished. We have much to do. I entertain you, but too much effort involved. He's just resting. Poor lad. He was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. This is ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. I will not listen to your lies, demon. You have no power over me. Resist. You must resist, else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world. 